important. Now, if you don't have your own product that you can sell on Shopify, then you probably want to do something called dropshipping. Dropshipping is when you find a product from a supplier somewhere and then you put that product on your Shopify store and then whenever somebody buys it on your store, you just go to the supplier and tell them to ship it directly to the customer and the difference in what you pay to the supplier compared to what the customer has paid on your Shopify store is then the profit that you're gonna make minus all the fees, the, the advertising uh, costs and all that stuff. So you don't actually ever see the product, you just sell it on your Shopify store and whenever you get a sale, you just tell the supplier to ship it directly to the customer. So now the question is, where do we find the products that we can sell this way? So the most well-known website where you can find products that you can drop ship is AliExpress. I'm sure you've already heard of this website or even used it. This is where you can find a lot of very inexpensive products that are manufactured in China that you can sell on your Shopify store for a higher price than what you can find it here for. The downside of using AliExpress is just that usually the products will be shipped from China, which makes them so cheap. And then the shipping cost, or I'm sorry, the shipping time is gonna be two weeks to even sometimes over a month which makes your customers very unhappy because people are used to getting their products in like two to three days or even sometimes in the same day if they're going through Amazon. So this is why usually I don't like to use products on AliExpress. Sometimes you can find suppliers that have a warehouse in the US. In this case, the shipping time is gonna be lower, but there are also other platforms that you can use, which is for example, CJ Dropshipping. They have a lot of suppliers that have warehouses in the United States. So you can also filter if you go to warehouses and click on United States warehouse, you're just gonna find products that have warehouses in the United States if you're selling there, or if you're selling, let's say in Germany, you can go to German warehouses. So you wanna make sure that uh, you can find products that have uh, warehouses where you're selling so that your shipping time will be a lot lower and you don't get complaining customers, refunds and all those headaches that come with having long shipping times. And then another great platform for drop shipping is Zendrop. They have a lot of good high quality products with reliable suppliers, with short shipping times. And especially for beginners, they make things really easy uh, to import the products to your store, to fulfill the orders and all that stuff. So I highly recommend to also check out Zendrop. Then there's a few others that I recommend. I'm probably gonna leave a list of all the platforms that I recommend for dropshipping in the description down below if you wanna check those out. So now I'm gonna show you how to import a dropshipping product to your Shopify store. And as an example, I'm just gonna use Zendrop. I also have videos on how to uh, import products from AliExpress. I'm gonna leave those down below in the video description. Also, I'm gonna ask Zendrop if they can give you some kind of discount uh, link or discount code. And if I do, then you'll find this down below in the description. So first thing, we have to sign up for Zendrop. So let's click on sign up free. Then once our Zendrop account is created, we wanna connect our Shopify store. So let's head back over to our Shopify dashboard, copy the URL at the top of your browser, and then just paste in the URL right here and click on connect. Then it takes us back to Shopify where we have to click on install app. And here in the Zendrop app, we can find all the products that we can sell on our Shopify store from Zendrop. So for example, if you wanna sell these casual hoodies here, all we gotta do is click on add to import list and then go to my products on the left side. And then here we can find it again. We can just click on review and publish, then confirm and once again, confirm. And now the product will be directly imported to our Shopify store. So when I go back to the store and then click on products, then once the import is complete, we can see the product here on our store. And when we click on it, we can see that all the information was imported, the title, the description, the images, the different variants, sizes and colors, the prices, everything.